this is uh, the rig runner. Um, we uh, uh, changed the uh, fuses in position one and two, I believe. Uh, they came with 40 amp uh, fuses in them uh, and uh, we felt that a 25 amp fuse uh, to feed the, uh, the radio would be uh, the proper fuse uh, to use. Uh, we also, uh, as you can see, have a, a 1, 5 and 10 amp uh, fuse for uh, uh, auxiliary use. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, the PG40S uh, uh, battery conditioner. Um, it um, allows us to uh, operate uh, uh, the radio directly off of 12 volts without making any connections uh, after the fact. It will uh, be automatically connected uh, while it's in the uh, uh, Pelican case. We have uh, uh, a feed coming from the power supply, a feed uh, going to the uh, battery and uh, a feed going to the rig runner which in turn uh, then feeds uh, the radio. Uh, here's a, uh, a little uh, pictorial. Uh, this pictorial doesn't show the rig runner but the rig runner would uh, go uh, between the, uh, the super power gate and the uh, transceiver. Um, oh, the uh, power gate is designed that if the battery is uh, severely depleted it will uh, condition the battery to uh, bring it up to a predetermined uh, level and then it will kick over into a, a full charge mode and then once it reaches the full charge mode it will uh, kick over into a float mode. There are uh, three uh, LED lights on it and the uh, uh, coloring uh, of uh, the lights, the ones that are lit, uh, uh, give you uh, information on the status of the charge at that uh, moment. Uh, if uh, when running off of 110 volts if the power should uh, fail um, the uh, radio uh, will not even uh, blink it will continue to operate as if uh, nothing had happened. Uh, all that uh, due to the uh, uh, internal switching of the uh, super power gate. Super power gate uh, was uh, purchased through Ham Radio Outlet and they sell for about $130 currently. Uh, so here we see the uh, inside of the uh, uh, Pelican case with uh, the uh, uh, matrix uh, being prepared to uh, be mounted into the, uh, uh, the Pelican case. Uh, the uh, the matrix is attached to the Pelican case on uh, four cylindrical standoffs um, and uh, holes are drilled into each of the four corners of the uh, Lexan, uh, Lexan matrix uh, and we use uh, wing nuts. You can in fact see a uh, wing nut right over here and the reason why we used uh, wing nuts is uh, if we need to uh, quickly remove the matrix for uh, servicing um, uh, it uh, can be done with uh, virtually no tools. Uh, just uh, loosen the, uh, the wing nut and uh, uh, the whole board will uh, pop off. Uh, uh, here again is a close-up of the equipment, the uh, 23 amp power supply on the left, uh, the uh, super power gate and the rig runner uh, distribution panel and the FT8800 on the right. Uh, here's a close-up of uh, the kit that is uh, mounted uh, on the uh, metal perf. Um, again you can see the uh, wing nuts uh, quite visibly um, and uh, this one shows the uh, wiring uh, run uh, to the radio, to the battery and to the power supply. Uh, uh, this is a close-up of uh, the front of the radio with the uh, remote head removed and the uh, uh, socket uh, on the uh, front of the radio to hook up to the uh, extension uh, uh, cord and uh, again a close-up of the, uh, uh, the rig runner and the PG40S uh, and the coax going into a 90 degree elbow in the back of the radio 
and um, a good close-up again of the uh, wing nut on uh, one corner. Uh, more of the same, uh, as you can see, uh, the uh, um, uh, the power supply uh, uh, plugs into the the left port on the uh, PG40. The rig goes in the middle port, and the 100 ampere hour battery goes on the uh, uh, the right uh, port. And this is uh, our maiden voyage of the. Uh, uh, the go kit, uh, the uh, first time we uh, put it through his paces uh, in a drill. Uh, on the left you can in fact see the uh, hand truck uh, uh, with the battery attached to it and the go kit uh, on site. Um, we've uh, got uh, on the bottom uh, right uh, photo you can see the, uh, uh, the control head of the radio uh, mounted to the uh, weighted uh, uh, angle bracket uh, um, uh, ready for use. Uh, again, more of the same. Uh, in this case, we've attached the uh, external speaker to Velcro that we've uh, pre installed on one of the many handles on the, uh, the, the uh, Pelican case. Uh, there's also a, uh, an additional uh, uh, Velcro strip. Uh, uh, behind the um, uh, the handle right over here and uh, if there is no operating table uh, for the um, uh, the remote head to attach to um, the velcro on the back of the uh, remote mounting kit for the um, uh, the control head can be uh, attached to the velcro on the handle and uh, you probably know that uh, as with all uh, LCD and LED displays, if you don't look at them directly from the front, you can't see them. So putting the, uh, uh, the control head flat on the surface uh, will preclude, preclude you from seeing it uh, from the front of the go kit. So we attach the, uh, um, uh, the control head to the uh, handle and the handle is adjustable to any angle and then uh, you can set it to the angle necessary so you can see it from uh, uh, in front of uh, the go kit uh, if in fact you're operating uh, uh, without a uh, an operating desk. Um, uh, here we see uh, again the uh, go kit in uh, operation uh, being uh, uh, overseen and uh, uh, monitored by uh, our division fire chief and uh, uh, there you see the um, antenna in the uh, bottom uh, picture uh, uh, set up on uh, the uh, lawn of uh, uh, the uh, drill location where the simulated shelter was. And uh, that's it. Any additional information, you can uh, drop a, a, an email to uh, Alpha Bravo 6 Hotel Bravo at ARRL.net, AB6HB at ARL.net. Thank you for watching. <laughs>